Hey guys, video log number seven. Uh, been a bit of a delay for this, but uh, some good uh, squats, deadlifts, and paused squats over this month. Um, pretty self explanatory. One thing I did want to discuss today was body weight. <clears throat> Basically, people, some people have an aversion to this idea of doing daily weigh ins and um, basing nutritional decisions on the changes in the weekly average. This is something that Eric Helms has got me into uh, having worked with him and right now I'm a complete uh, testament to... testament? Complete fanatic of weight. <laughs> so if we just if we think about it this systematically we li list the possible variables involved in body weight. So you've got fat mass, lean body mass, glycogen, water, bone, faecal matter, and organs. So, okay, glycogen, water, faecal matter, they're going to fluctuate, but they're not going to steadily increase day to day unless you've got a serious problem. So, they're really, um, these small fluctuations in, in things that are not more solid and constant, like, you know, lean mass, uh, bone and then fat mass to a lesser degree. The the little fluctuations are going to average out, and it, it doesn't really matter what your weight is from day to day. The only time the fluctuation does matter is Monday to Tuesday, not Monday week one to Monday week two. And so, really, if you do take enough samples, then uh, you've you've got a very accurate gauge of how you how your body weight is moving um, overall, whether you're in a, a deficit or not, regardless of what calorie calculators will say. So that's my rant over. Uh, here are some deadlifts with my new form. Really trying to focus on keeping the chest up, performing it more like a leg press. Um, I'm quite happy with it at this load, but then uh, as it gets a little bit heavier, the back starts to round once again. Uh, this was 1755, next set 210, uh, 200, was meant to go for 5 reps again, but cut it short because uh, you can see there the hips start rising, it's not very good. 75 kilos right now, uh, pretty much at the end of the diet, which I'm so pleased about because it was uh, it was getting pretty unpleasant towards the end. Um, there are some pause deadlifts just off the floor. Um, that seems to be my current weak point, especially with the new position, new setup. So by improving that strength off the floor, hopefully you know, the lockout takes care of itself and it should be pretty easy. That's pretty much it for me, so enjoy Johnny <laughs> skipping and see you next time.